The Antigua Forum 2020 was an amazing experience. This is one of the most incredible gatherings with thought leaders from around the world and powerful projects that all come together to cultivate and create and accelerate new ideas. Mark, welcome. And we've known each other for almost 40 years. We've traveled the digital highway together. Who would have guessed back then that we'd end up talking about it here in Guatemala? Nobody. <laughs> we, we were so excited when you accepted our invitation to come to the Antigua Forum and contribute your time. Give us a little bit about your background and the journey you've traveled and leading us toward why you agreed to come. Sure. Uh, I'm a technologist who uh, wound up on Wall Street uh, and so um, finance uh, was my career. I brought America Online public in 1992. Before that, I had been a leading analyst in workstations, and uh, we overlapped actually before that in the early days of, of interactive cable television. So what are you focusing on nowadays? Well, I'm the president of the Center for the Study of Digital Life. Uh, this is a geopolitical research group that is primarily focused on world leaders and their understanding of the effects of technology on society. Mark, what triggered the idea to invite you down to the Antigua Forum was a conversation we had about Hayek's sensory order, probably one of his least known works, but I understand something that's important to the center. Maybe you can stitch that together for us. Sure. Friedrich Hayek uh, is really at the root of so much of what goes on here, including at the UFM. And he began his undergraduate studies focusing on human psychology in Vienna, which at that point had become, after World War I, a kind of a Marxist commune, Red Vienna. And so he was trying to understand all of this. However, he then set that aside, put his writings in the drawer, moved into law and then eventually economics, and that led to what we're doing here today. It is very important for us to remember psychology. Hayek was an important contributor. So I'm here in part, and it began, as you suggest, to try to join together with scholars who are interested in exploring Hayek's understanding of the sensory order. This is where the action happens in our subconscious sensory uh, apparatus, which modern psychology has largely forgotten. I understand that one of the projects being undertaken by the Center for the Study of Digital Life is really taking a fresh look at creating a new psychology. Perhaps you can talk about how the electric age has overemphasized fantasy over memory and what role uh, the university here can play and, and the Antigua Forum can play in uh, rebalancing that. Uh, from the beginning of psychology, Aristotle, all the way up through Hayek's early efforts, it was understood that psychology was really a matter of the faculties of the human psyche. We're speaking in English, not Greek, so the English equivalent word is soul. So the faculties of the soul, faculties of the psyche, and therefore a faculty psychology, is what we want to recover. And at the moment, our center is uh, the most aggressive organization in the world trying to do that. In fact, we're about to publish around a 200-page um, it will be online, but a 200-page book on this subject in the hopes that that uh, stimulates further conversation. Um, long story short, the human psyche winds up revolving around two of, of its many faculties. Those two are memory and imagination. This goes all the way back to Aristotle again. So this is a couple thousand years old. This is not news. It has, however, been forgotten or replaced with other ideas. It turns out that what we are now living through as a result of digital technology is probably the most significant shift in our internal faculties that's ever occurred to humanity. We are in the process of shifting from a 
massive overemphasis on imagination, fantasy, to an emphasis on memory. Computers are memory devices. The electronic devices, including those recording this interview, are fantasy devices. Mm. So as we go from fantasy to memory, everything breaks loose. And this is, is the enormous challenge, threat, and opportunity the center is trying to address. Mark, you've now experienced your first Antigua Forum. Mm -hmm. we, we do hope we can have you back. What were your expectations before coming here, and how were they either realized or, or changed once you, uh, once you got involved? What I've discovered is something quite remarkable. In fact, what has happened here in a highly organized and, and even refined sense is the conflict between memory and imagination being expressed on a very large scale. The projects which are brought to Antigua Forum are imagination. And as many of the people here have said, I've had fantasies about what my business would be. I didn't know if I could possibly uh, do this, but I just imagined I could. What they were then confronted with was a brain trust, which is an enormous reservoir of memory. And the generosity of that brain trust to these imaginary projects, I don't think has any other parallel in the world. So this is memory and imagination in motion. I call that a renaissance. I believe that's what Antigua Forum is actually doing, far exceeding my expectations. What final thoughts, Mark, would you have in advice for future prospective invitees to the Antigua Forum to donate their time to this brain trust, this, this memory bank, to help young innovators? I think we probably um, will need to see more technologists in the mix here. Every year, there's a significant new group who come in. I'm hoping that more and more of the new attendees have a background in technology and the at least are capable of thinking about the effects of technology. So I gave a lecture yesterday morning. 20 people were kind enough to show up. I think the people who got the most out of that were the folks with a technology background. And so the overlap between liberty, freedom, Hayek, and the effects of technology, uh, I hope is going to become more and more important here. And so I would advise future participants in the Tika Forum to try to keep that in mind uh, and look forward uh, to the digital age we now live. Mark, thank you very much. Bill, it's been great. Thank you very much. We are trying to remember what it means to be human. And uh, that, I think, is something that the Antigua Forum and the uh, Liberty Movement are also deeply engaged in.